revenue ex now what is a deferred revenue expenditure deferred revenue expenditure is an expenditure that has been incurred for one period that is one accounting period but its benefits are derived over the number of following accounting period okay so the expenditure is incurred in one period that is a one accounting year but the benefits are derived over the number of following accounting period so let's take an example say if the expenditure is incurred in the year 2016-17 okay but benefit of this expenditure are to be received for five following years okay that is what 17 18 18 19 19 20 20 21 21 22 okay so the expenditure is incurred in year 2016-17 but the benefits are incurred for the five subsequent years that is up to 2020-21 okay such expenditure is known as deferred revenue expenditure now this is an example of deferred revenue expenditure Messrs ABC has a fruit processing unit it produces fruit jams since last 10 years okay so this is Messrs ABC okay so it has a food processing unit and it is producing fruit jams okay since last 10 years okay it has launched a new product that is a tomato ketchup so now it has launched a new product this year what is a new product tomato ketchup okay now there is a massive advertising campaign carried out for launching a new product in financial year 2016-17 amounting to rupees 80 lakhs it is estimated that massive advertising campaign will benefit the new product that is tomato ketchup for seven subsequent financial years now what has happened is it has launched a new product that is a tomato ketchup and for that purpose of this tomato ketchup specifically for the purpose of tomato ketchup there was a massive advertising campaign which was carried out in the year 2016-17 and it amounted to rupees 80 lakhs okay now it is estimated that this advertising campaign will benefit the new product for seven financial years that is seven subsequent financial year that is all the financial year following 2016 and 17 so subsequent financial years is 2017 18 2018 19 2019 20 2020 21 2021 22 2022 23 2023 24 okay so how many years 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and the current year that is 2016 and 17 so this 80 lakhs will benefit for total 8 years so this is an example of a deferred revenue expenditure expenditure is incurred in a one accounting period but the benefit of which will be received for the eight accounting periods now we will see what is the accounting treatment for a deferred revenue expenditure okay so let's see accounting so if you see carefully when the expenditure is incurred okay it is considered as an asset since the benefit of that expenditure is going to be derived for the subsequent financial years it is considered as an asset so in 2016 and 17 when the expenditure is incurred that is 80 lakh rupees is being paid it will be considered as an asset so the journal entry will be deferred revenue 
एक्सपेंडिचर अकाउंट डेबिट टू बैंक अकाउंट ओके इट हैज बिन ऑलरेडी इनकर्ट सो विल एज्यूम दैट इट हैज बिन पेड सो डेफर्ड रेवेन्यू एक्सपेंडिचर अकाउंट डेबिट एटी लैक टू बैंक अकाउंट ओके सो ना दिस डेफर्ड रेवेन्यू एक्सपेंडिचर इज शोइंग अ डेबिट बैलेंस ना इट अपियर इन द एसेट साइड ऑफ बैलेंस शीट ओके ना वॉट विल हैपन इज दिस एटी लैक्स वी हैव टू राइट इट ऑफ विद इन द पीरियड ऑफ एट ईयर्स सिंस द टोटल बेनिफिट विल बी रिसीव फॉर द पीरियड ऑफ एट ईयर्स एवरी ईयर वी हैव टू राइट ऑफ एटी लैक्स डिवाइड बाय एट ईयर्स ओके दैट इज टेन लैक्स दैट इज टेन टेन लैक्स ओके ना एवरी ईयर वी हैव टू राइट ऑफ टेन लैक्स प्रॉपर डेफर्ड रेवेन्यू एक्सपेंडिचर सो फॉर टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन एंड सेवेंटीन द एंट्री विल बी डेफर्ड रेवेन्यू एक्सपेंडिचर रिटर्न ऑफ टेन लैक टू deferred revenue expenditure account okay now this deferred revenue expenditure return of is a nominal account okay nominal account and at the year end it will be transferred to profit and loss account debit side as an expense okay and this will appear in the balance sheet asset side so every year the balance in the deferred revenue expenditure asset that is this account will be reduced by 10 lakhs and every year rupees 10 lakhs will be return of in your profit and loss account this is how you treat deferred revenue expenditure or the accounting treatment for the deferred revenue expenditure okay now let's see the difference between a deferred revenue expenditure and prepaid expenses okay so we have taken the same example messrs abc has a food processing unit it produces fruit jam since 10 years it has launched a new product that is tomato ketchup there is a massive advertising campaign carried out for launching a new product in financial year 1617 amounting to rupees 80 lakhs and it is estimated that the massive advertising campaign with benefit the new product that is tomato ketchup for seven subsequent financial year okay now messrs abc has also paid in advance advertising expense for fruit jams okay amount of expense paid is rupees 6 lakh for printing advertisement in newspaper for the period jan 2017 to december 2017 now this is a financial year 2016 and 17 that is from april 2016 to march 2017 now if you see we have taken the same example messrs abc it has two products one is fruit jams and the other one is the new product that is launched that is tomato ketchup now if you see the tomato ketchup we have already seen the example that there is a massive advertising campaign and it is going to be benefited for 8 years okay so 80 lakhs has been considered as a deferred revenue expenditure expenditure okay now it has also paid rupees 6 lakhs okay as an advance for a advertising its fruit jams okay so specifically for advertising fruit jams it has paid rupees 6 lakh and the amount is paid for the period of 
जैन टू थाउजेंड टू डिसम्बर टू दैट इज़ फॉर द पीरियड ऑफ ट्वेल्व मंथ्स ओके ना इफ यू सी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू expenses that are been incurred so what has happened in case of fruit jams the rupees 6 lakhs has been paid to a newspaper agency okay for printing and advertisement so there must be some contract or agreement for printing and advertisement of fruit jams okay for 12 months so what will the newspaper agency do it has taken rupees 6 lakhs and from jan 2017 to december 2017 it will print the ad okay of jams in newspaper okay so the expenditure has to be bifurcated between this period that is jan 2017 to december 2017 so for 12 months so per month the expenses will be rupees 50000 okay so for the financial year 2016 and 17 that is for from jan 2017 to march 2017 the expenses will be 150000 for 3 months okay this will be considered as an expense advertisement expense in your profit and loss account debit side okay whereas expenses incurred from april 2017 to december 2017 okay so that is how much 50000 into 9 months that is 4 lakh 50000 will be considered as a prepaid expenses prepaid advertisement expense and it will go to your balance sheet asset side okay for knowing the detail accounting treatment of prepaid expenses you may refer to that video on the prepaid expenses okay now if you see the difference between a deferred revenue expenditure and a prepaid expenditure the difference is that the prepaid expenditure has been paid but not incurred okay now as on 31st march 2017 if you see that printing ad of jams okay now the news agency will keep on printing the ads even in the next subsequent years so whatever are the advertisement printed till march 2017 the benefit of that is not going to be derived beyond march 2017 okay whereas in case of your deferred revenue expenditure what has happened is the expenditure of 80 lakhs has been incurred okay there was a massive advertisement for launching of a new product so there may be some newspaper advertisement there may be some sample distribution also the so that benefit of massive advertisement are going to be ben the benefit are going to be received for the eight subsequent financial year now this eight subsequent financial year is ultimately an estimation it may be more than eight it may be less than eight also okay so every year it's necessary to review whether the benefit of this advertisement is been received or not okay so that is the main difference between the deferred revenue expenditure and the prepaid expenses prepaid expenses the expenses are paid in advance but not yet incurred okay whereas in case of deferred revenue expenditure the expenditure has been incurred as well as paid but the benefits of the same will be received in the future okay so this was about deferred revenue expenditure thank you